Um, um, okay. And, um, okay, where was I? I think I got my, my track of thought back. Okay, not normal and paranormal romance. And you're probably thinking, oh, she doesn't know the name of the heroine, and I have forgotten. Um, what should I talk about? This is harder than I expected. <laughs> okay, so she gives him a beating heart. Um, oh. Is that a good ankle? I could get a better one. But I wanted the purple. Oh. Purple. That color. Turquoise. I wanted that on the back. Because it goes with my glasses. Um. Uh. Um. It's a must. Just like, um, the Brotherhood of the Black Dagger, or something. This is awkward. <laughs> um, ah. Hi. Um, I wanted to try this uh, book reviews on YouTube out, so I want to talk about Lothair. Um, Cressley Cole's newest uh, book and yeah I didn't post a review about it yet I I read it a couple of weeks ago and then I've been just like busy with all the all the book tours and um, writing other other reviews so I haven't got to it I, I was supposed to like immediately afterwards I think I have a draft <laughs> somewhere on Blogger. Oh, by the way, if I swing, I'm in a chair that swings, so don't like get seasick. I absolutely love the book. It's a lot more like her her original original books were the the first ones, not the couple of really like dark ones. Um, this one this one is like really like the normal love story you get in paranormal romance. It it was really, really good. It had the, the I'm not ready to settle vampire. He was, he thought he was the, the worst thing ever. And of course he gets um, rescued in multiple ways by a woman. Um, human which he despises, all humans, despises everything in the book, actually. I really liked, liked the heroine, too. She was, she was like really gutsy, I mean, having gone through thinking she was possessed for, for a really long period of her time and trying to commit suicide and being just stopped, being, being stopped by the the creature that was possessing her, who uh, Lothair thought was his blooded mate, meaning actually gave him a beating heart, a, a vampire, a beating heart. You kind of have to be um, with me <laughs> having read the books before, because otherwise what I'm saying to you makes very little sense. So um, if you haven't read Cressley Cole before, stop this video now. Unless you want to just hear babbling and go read them and return in a couple of years or something. <laughs> Actually, if you're a fast reader, it'll take you about a month to get through those. Good books. Very good books. And, um, okay, where was I? Right, beating heart for a vampire. Um, what else? I'm going to edit this one out. <laughs> so, giving back the Lothair the blooding meaning he gets his heart beating and he um gets other urges he hasn't gotten since since he was um he died as a vampire having gotten those you know urges to mate 
in things. But now he does want to, and um, and, and our heroine doesn't want to because she's possessed. And uh, the lady who is possessing her um, is a virgin goddess. So and she's evil, like really, really evil. She's the the um, sort of like the the queen of the vampires like a vampire goddess, all like gore and blood and torture and which a lot of things he likes as well because he's done it for a good while um, but he finally begins to see things a little bit differently when when uh, he gets to know our girl more about our heroine uh, Elizabeth is um, I think one of the the most interesting heroines I've read in a in a while. I mean, she's possessed by the the vampire virgin goddess, <laughs> and uh, she has these blackouts where she, you know, kills people. She very bloodily, and she wakes up and has uh, not that much recollection of what she's done. So, basically, she just knows something awful happens. So eventually she tries to kill herself by trying to get shot by the police, which doesn't work out. And she's sent to a mental asylum, eventually to be um, put to death. And, you know, killed by the, by the government. But um, Lothair can't have that done because he thinks the virgin goddess is his mate. Okay, so we all know she, the goddess is not his mate, it's Elizabeth, but um, anyway, we're, we're going with the story <laughs> and um, and it is a really good story. I like how they how they get to know each other and and like start liking each other. Even Elizabeth thinks she's she got the upper hand that she's faking it to to get on his good sides and eventually um, leave him as soon as she can, but um, she she begins to feel things for him, and now there's spoilers. I usually don't do spoilers on my book reviews, but maybe I can do spoilers in my YouTube videos, uh, and the spoiler is that. Um, towards the end, when they when when it finally starts looking like, okay, they're going to be together and it's all gonna be um, great, and he's changed and he knows that he wants Elizabeth and not, you know, the bloody bitch. <laughs> it it kind of goes wrong that Elizabeth kind of snaps. And it's like all too much for her, all the supernatural stuff and and all the vampire stuff and the blood and the uh, revenge and all everything like that. And and she flips out and and leaves him. And he's like, "Fine, go. I don't need you. I've, you know, it's um, I've had my heart ripped out before. I can do it again." Of course it doesn't work that way. He has to go back for her. But I was worried there for a while. <laughs> I was thinking, this is going on for pages and pages and chapters and what's going on and aren't, aren't they gonna end up together? Couples end up together, especially in Crystal Cole series. I've read a couple where the couple doesn't get together and I'm like, nah. No, I want and happily ever after, if that's, you know, I want that. And um, so, okay, so it goes on and on, and I'm like worried and worried, and I'm like, no, don't do this to me, not you. And then finally there's like this, like this switch flipped, and he goes like, oh, oh, oh I get it now, which is why I love Nyx. He, she's great, and I can't wait to read her book. He does like grovel back and does everything he has to do to show her that he gets it. He gets what he's been like to her, how much he's hurt her. 
uh, during the during their journey together, and then I go like, "Yay! I got another happy ending." <laughs> um, like I said, the, this is like the original Cressley Cole. It is really good. It's not so dark, even though Lothair's story is darker. Am I even saying that right? His name? I don't know if it, if like Finnish English translation some sort of problems happening here. Anyway, <laughs> um, five stars. I really did love it. I loved everything about it. It was just as hot and sexy and and sizzlingly yummy as the earlier books were, which are really good. Like I said, go get them, get them and read them. If you haven't read them, you're not up to par on paranormal romance. You have to read Cressley Hall and the Immortals After Dark series. So, five stars, extremely hot, and if you like romance where the couple has to kind of have these like verbal battles and, and it's just yummy. It's really good. That was my first YouTube book review. Five stars. Gotta start great. Also, um, if you do want to, you can follow me uh, on Twitter at Raven. Um, and I'm also on Facebook for the love of reading and my blog. I'm just gonna put it down there, the address, but it's um, for the love of reading. And I'm Nina, and bye.